Hey everyone, it's me, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to close this gate so the dogs don't come in. Um, I'm going to show you how I make my Tazo Passion Herbal Infused Tea. This beautiful red tea that tastes super delicious. Um, this is the mug that I use to make my tea in, and I do make it in the microwave. And on the box, it gives you the directions um, and how to make iced tea. Um, oh, maybe that's the directions just for one cup of hot tea. But I really like this iced. Well, it does tell you somewhere. Anyway. So, this is my mug that my friend Julie uh, gave to me. She used to live here. She's an army wife, a military wife. So there's one bag. And um, her husband's family is lives in Maine. He's from Maine. That's where he grew up. And when they uh, moved back to the lower 48 and he retired, they went moved to Maine. So that is my mug from Julie. So Julie, if you're watching this, I want you to know that that is my favorite mug. And there's all my empty Snapple and dill pickle jar. Um, I microwave this for two minutes and then let it steep for a few minutes more, so I'll be back. Don't go away. All right, guys, so this is what the tea looks like. I brewed it for two minutes, or I mean I microwaved it for two minutes and let it brew for an additional three. So, I don't know, around five minutes. You know, you don't have to be super precise. Then I go and pour it in here. I use a funnel. As you can see, it's a beautiful red color. I use a funnel and pour it in here and stick it in the refrigerator. I let it cool off. It's been sitting here for a while, so it's cooled off. And then what I do I fill my cup up with tea, with tea, with ice, and then I add in a packet of sweet leaf, the uh, natural stevia sweetener that I get at Ideal Protein. They recommend this because um, it's chemical free and they add fiber, it's GMO, which is genetically modified organism or now I can't remember, but it's just, it's uh, not genetically modified, it's, and it's gluten-free. So I add one of my packets of sweet leaf, stevia, and then I take my tea that I've made and have chilled in the fridge, and I just pour it over the top. And I don't shake it like they do at Starbucks, um, but... I do put my this, my cup has a straw in it, the one that won't come out, and I just kind of mix it around. I don't shake it because if I do, the tea will come out through the little hole here. I really like this cup. I got it at Walmart, and um, it's called Cool Gear, so that means I'm cool. But um. And then just stir everything around. And I have my passion shaken, no, stirred, not shaken, tea. So there you go, guys. If you love that tea as much as I do, you can make your own at home. It's super easy. And it's definitely more affordable. So, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I put, um, I believe it was 12 Maybe it was 10 ounces of water in here. See, I don't even remember. So about 10 ounces, 
you can make it to you know the strength that you want to you just don't want to let it steep too long because teas can get bitter if you let them steep too long I learned that um, from Tivana so just want you to know all right you guys you take care thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this I'll just see you soon bye